Okay, I'm going to show you one of my favourite new apps, and it's called Puppet Powers. Uh, the logo looks like this. It's the second one in from the left, and it's got the blue clouds on the red background, and it says Puppet Powers HD underneath. I'm going to click on that, and the app opens up, and you get this screen. So I'm going to click the press to start, and how it works is you get characters you can choose from, which you can either import, like I have done with these ones here, or it comes with characters built in, so you've got lots of different types of characters. And I scroll down so you can have a look at them all. You've got Wild West and political figures and all that sort of stuff. But if I scroll back up to the top, I think what the best part of this application is the fact that you can add actors. So if I click on the add actor from photo, I can either take a photo using the top option there, so it allows me to take a photo straight into the application, or I can click choose existing and it will take me into my camera roll. So when I open up my camera roll, I look for somebody I can cut out here. I'm going to use somebody I've used before, I'm going to use Max. So I click on Max's picture, there he is. And basically, what I'm going to do, you'll see a green line appearing. I'm just going to run my finger around the subject. So this is very rough and ready. But I run it around max, keep my finger on the screen all the time. And when I join it up at the bottom, it will show me what I've cut out. It doesn't have to be too precise. Um, and I get to accept or reject. So if I've made a bit of a boo-boo there, I can reject, but I'm happy with that one. I'm going to click accept. And what that's done is the last picture down here is the one of Max, which I've just cut out. So if I click on that, you can see it goes green, and it's got a green tick in the corner to say this is the one I've selected. You can choose lots more. Okay, so you can have, I think it's up to four different characters in the scene. So what I'm going to do as well is mix Max up with a bug here. So I'm going to click on this blue bug, and you can see that's turned green. And over on the left hand, on the right hand side here, you can see the characters that I've chosen. So I've got a next icon um, down in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to click on that. I've chosen my subject, now I need to choose my backdrop. And it works much the same way as the characters. So I've got lots of set ones here, monsters on the farm, pirates, political party, wild west, fairy tales would be quite nice. Or you can choose your own backgrounds. Okay, I'm going to choose a backdrop from photo. So it works in the same way that it does with the subject. I can either take a new background if I'm standing somewhere, I'm out on a school trip, or I'm somewhere of interest, I can take a picture, or I can pull a picture in from my camera roll. Um, and this could be um, a picture of a piece of child's work. So you can see I've got some pictures of text there. Um, it could be the picture of um, a background of a, you see I've got some um, pictures there of mind maps. It could be of anything you want. So I'm going to choose just a simple bit of scribbles that someone's entered on my iPad. Um, and I can accept that. So I can move that around if I wanted to. I can zoom in and out. Um, but about there is good for me. And I can click the accept icon at the top. Okay, so that's a background that I've just imported. You can see down here, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click the next icon. Now, this is our stage. So just using my finger, I'm going to click on this blue bug here. I'm just going to move him off shot. And then I'm going to click on Max, and I'm going to move him off. If you double tap on a subject, it will turn them around. So if you keep your eye on Max there, if I double tap him now, you can see that he's turned around, so he's orientated the other way. So when he walks on from this side, it makes more sense than him walking backwards. And also, if you look at the blue bug here, if I use my two fingers, I can spin them around, but I can also make them bigger and make them smaller. So probably I'm going to make Max a bit bigger on that side. I'm going to make the bug a little bit smaller and then I can move them around. Now, you can have more than one student using this at a time. So if you put your subjects on, one student has a finger on Max, the other student has a finger on the bug, and you can have one more as well, because you can have up to three people on there, and three fingers, and you can move them around. And basically what happens is, this app, when I click the record button at the top of the screen there, is gonna record the sound through the built-in microphone in the iPad, so we need quite a uh, quiet space. Um, and then basically it's going to record everything that happens on 
set. Okay, so the best way to do this is to show you. So I'm going to click on the record button at the top. And I'm going to walk Max on here like this. So Max walks on and says, hello, everybody. It's good to keep them wiggling um, when they're talking because it shows people that they're talking. And the bug is just going to creep on the bottom here. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. And Max is going to go, oh, I don't like bugs. And I double tap him and he runs off, even though he had a big silly smile on his face. Um, and the bug will turn around and he'll go, oh, I'm a bit sad about that. So he's walked off, okay? And then I'm gonna press, press this stop button at the top. And I've got an option here to record more um, with the record icon or with the green play triangle. I can play back what I've got already. Or with the um, disc icon pointing downwards, I can decide to save it. So let's just press play and see what we've got so far. Have a listen. And I'm going to walk Max on here like this. So Max walks on and says, hello, everybody. It's good to keep them wiggling um, when they're talking because it shows people that they're talking. And the bug is just going to creep on the bottom here. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. And Max is going to go, oh, I don't like bugs. And I double tap him and he runs off, even though he had a big silly smile on his face. Um, and the bug will turn around and he'll go, oh, I'm a bit sad about that. So he's walked off, okay? And then I'm going to press this stop button. Okay, so there you go. That was the uh, that was my little performance. So um, I'm happy with that. I want to save that. So I'm going to press the save icon with the arrow pointing downwards. Ask me for a title. I'm going to call this Max and the Bug. And I'm going to click save. Save that and it's told me it was successful and would I like to view it. So this is where you can go to actually export this film that you've made out of Puppet Powers HD. And you can even put it back onto your, your Mac or PC and, and show people or play it from your iMac. Um, or you can take it into another program and put some titles on it. So um, would I like to view my saved show now? Yes. So these are all my saved shows. You can see I've had a go at this before. And right at the bottom here, I've got Max and the Bug, 34 seconds. And I can either play it back to remind myself, or I can click Export. And I'm going to click Export. And you can see it's got Export in progress. So it shouldn't take too long, because it's only 34 seconds. But it puts all that together, makes it into a nice quick time format. And then it will put it straight into my camera roll. So when this is finished, Back to the start here, so I've got Max and the Bug as my film. What would I like to do? I'd like to um, put it up on Twitter. I can put it on my camera roll and you can see down these icons at the bottom, I can move it around and transfer to my PC, upload it to YouTube and various. So I'm just gonna put it on my camera roll. And your video has been copied to your camera roll. Okay, so super. And that is Puppet Pals. So I've got a video there that I've made. Um, it's a nice animation. You can have um, multiple students using the one iPad at the same time. You can um, import backgrounds and characters from wherever you want or use the built-in ones. Um, so lots of storytelling uh, potential there. And it exports into a nice QuickTime file, which you can show off at the end. And that is Puppet Pals.